Welcome Raiders to another Raid Shadow Legends video and in this one we're going to be talking about the first step to the ultimate gear guide. Now this is going to be gear sets and priorities. Now I'm still working on some other stuff like the stat um, you know comparisons in terms of like what's equivalent to what and then we'll create another info uh, another maybe hopefully we might use someone else's or I'll just create my own which is an infographic that talks about the roles per star of artifacts like gear or accessories. Um, so let's get straight into it, all right? So when you're going through gear, right? And this could be any anybody. Like people will tell me like, oh, but that's not the same for like if I'm in game. Like, no. Like overall, it's kind of like across the board. Unless you as the player choose differently based on, you know, whatever's, you know, maybe you're stubborn or you just, <laughs> you think you know the game, which uh, that's why I always ask people, do you even raid? Because there's so many people who don't, like, you wouldn't believe how many times I will say, like, hey, Resist is meta. Resist will never be meta. meta. Nari, Nari will never be, um, Nari will never be good. What a useless champion. Never going to be good. I'm like, what do you mean? Decreased resist and accuracy is not... Uh, then someone uses it in Hydra. Oh, wow. Decrease accuracy and decrease resist is amazing for full auto teams. Wow. No one should go for Awella because Awella doesn't let you build resist comps for Iron Twins or Hydra or, 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 or Doom Tower or Faction Wars. Oh, resistance is actually pretty insane if you can bring buff increased duration, which she does in her own kit, <laughs> which is crazy. But anyways, without me going too much, and remember when people said uh, building people high resist and high accuracy to counter sheep, now people are doing it in their videos. Now people are talking about it. Huh. Interesting how that all works out, right? Um, but anyways, let's get straight into the gear itself. There's a little tangent there, but honestly, it just blows my mind when someone tells me something and then literally they do it two months later. And they're like, nah, 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 nah. And then they literally do it themselves. So monkey see, monkey do? I, I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious. Or, or would you like to give me some credit, you know? All right, so let's let's we're gonna start from life and go all the way down. All right, we're gonna break it down. So I have created this uh, kind of infographic, which you will be able to find in my Discord. Uh, it's totally free. Basically, we went on stream and we went through all this. So this is the you know gear sets and priorities by made by me. Okay. Uh, so for the life set, right? When you think to yourself like this set in general. Or you might be like, oh, it's just HP 15, it's it's an F set gear, it's not it's not insane, nothing great about it, who cares? But <clears throat> if you had to choose priorities, if you're getting a certain piece of gear, what would you choose? Well, after long consideration, we talked about it. I've also seen other people's videos, other gear cleansing from like mid to end game, and it kind of like balanced out this is the best one I can think of from early game to late game. Because end game you can play however you want. And you can argue all this other semantics and numbers and blah, blah, blah. But until you actually know all three things, the roles, the stat comparison, and the gear sets and priorities, and then someone wants to, you know, combat me and tell me otherwise, fine. I'll hear it. Tell me in the comments below or hit me a DM, all right? But over here, the best one's going to be HP percentage, crit rate, and speed. Okay, so it's going to be number, uh, this is going to be the, the top three. Now, if you want to add some accuracy, you want to do some something else with it, you know, resistance, that's up to you. It's, these are these are what I recommend for most players. It's going to help you and give you the most oomph on your account, no matter where you are. Okay. Next one's going to be the offense set. Now the offense set's kind of weird because let's be honest, there's just a lot of these sets that are um, ice golem are just scaled by other stuff, right? There's other content like forge or other areas that just have something that's just a better version of it, right? So the best ones I could go with, right, would be attack percentage synergizes with the set, crit rate because if you're trying to go for that attack, who's going to build an attack champion with no crit rate? That's kind of weird unless it's support and they scale off their um scale off their attack, which is weird, player and please can you uh change that? There's some champions that still doesn't make sense in 2023 like a raglan who can uh Champions attack. I think it should be equal to a champion's defense or HP because this is just weird. Okay, not gonna build an attack champion who has almost 1200 attack and built what that just it just nah. We need we need some adjustments, player, in place because it just doesn't make sense with the gear as well compared to what it is now. Raid was a different game back then, 2019, 2020. Um, so attack percentage, crit rate, and crit damage. 
By the way, for a lot of people wondering, like, where'd you get all this information, Jay? This is years of gear cleansing, years of understanding gear, spending hours of being on hundreds of people's accounts. Actually, I learned, I'm a, I'm a, I guess you could call me, I'm a student of want to mess, a boomer, a lot of people who used to be in mad, right? You know, like in Mad Clan and some and Gods of Legends and stuff like that. So I learned a lot from these top players, and over time I became better and I taught people myself. All right, so the next one's gonna be defense um, set two piece, fifteen percent um, defense, which is not really crazy. Is it really a good piece you can add to the side if you have a four, you know, four piece this and two piece? Ah, there's just there's just better sets honestly, and who's gonna farm Ice Golem? Um, but in in general, what are the priorities gonna be? Defense percentage crit rate and speed it might be like why crit because you wouldn't believe how many times champions are just not 100 percent crit there's a lot of champions that, i'll give you an example right i'll give you an example there's some champions that cannot do their kit without critting like i'll give you an example right tomb lord tomb lord needs to crit just to decrease the speed tomb lord needs to crit to throw out the poisons so so many players will put regeneration can't get that crit and they might go perception for the crit right they might go other sets but not every single set you're going to want crit on. Not every single one. But for the really low value sets that no one's going to use, if it has crit, it might be a little bit more valuable. So that's why I put it there in general for most players. Okay. Next one's going to be speed set. One of the best sets in the game, let's be honest, right? Um, it's, been, it's been number one since the beginning of Raid and it's still number, like top probably top 10, uh, top 8, honestly, uh, in, in this game, right? It's crazy. Um, so the first one's gonna be speed, uh, of course, right? Accuracy, why not? If we're trying to go fast, most of the time, people don't, are not are putting the sea of poop in their great hall, right? They're going all over the place and going all over brown everywhere, kind of like this. I see people's area bonuses, same thing. Poop ev everywhere. You should, at least, if you're gonna, if you're gonna put brown, put it all in one area, like hydro or or, or let's say um, Fire Knight Castle because you're really trying to maximize it. Okay, do that. I'm totally fine with that. But all over the place? What? Kind of crazy, man. You're insane. All right, so so accuracy is very important because we need a lot of ac. okay? Resist, another strong, important one. Resist and accuracy, very important. That's why if you look at the Faction Guardians, it's the third most highest one. I don't think attack should be that high. Or, but hey, you know what can we, what can we do, right? Um, and then the crit rate, because a lot of people do like to use speed at crit for some champions. Some people like to build like percentages, but I like to put it in that order from left to right. If you want to choose right to left and go like, you know, like in some sets you might argue, Jay, I think it's the opposite. It's like crit like this. You can do whatever you want, you know, read it Japanese style or read it left to right. Like a, like a normal person, but do what you want. I'm just giving you my uh, information from all the years of playing this game. Next one's gonna be crit rate 12%. Uh, crit rate, of course, we're looking for crit rate. Still a lot of people building their champions still in 2023 with 97, 98, 99%, right? Crit rate, we're gonna focus crit rate as a priority. We're gonna focus crit damage since we were focusing the crit rate. And then speed, because if we're building damage, we want our champions to do the damage on. Now, some sets you don't actually wanna go speed as the third one. Some sets you will see that PCTS, which stands for percentages, then speed, okay? But for this, I say go for speed. Next one's gonna be crit damage. Basically the same thing. The only difference is it's a totally different set, right? <laughs> it's, it, it just gives you more crit damage, but we're still prioritizing the same thing. Crit rate, crit damage, and then speed. Next one's gonna be accuracy. I mean, this one's a no-brainer. Let's be honest. Accuracy, speed, and HP. Because most of the people who knew to put their debuffs, right, need to be tanky enough to put the debuffs. If they have no HP, they're going to die before they put their debuffs, right? So that's why you want to put it this way. Now, some people might be like, what about defense or or what about crit rate? It's not really a set we're looking for that type of stuff. If you want to if you want to put crit rate as the fourth most priority, that's up to you. But I don't come to accuracy for that type of stuff. Unless it's super high rolling or it's or it's a mythical with like starting off at 7% and I roll it twice and it all gives me 7%, I might just keep it just based on the rolls. But that's a totally another video which we're going to talk about rolls. Next one, we're going to come over here, which is going to be the resistance set. Plus 40 resist. Well, what are we going to focus on? Clearly resistance, right? Then it's going to be speed. Then it's going to be HP. Because it's very similar as to accuracy set. If we want our supports to survive, if we just go all defense, guess what's going to happen? Well, 
probably your defense is probably going to get ignored and your support's going to die. But if you have at least a good amount of HP and a little bit of defense, you might survive. So this is why I go with this way for most players, okay? Next one's going to be Lifesteal. Heals by 30% of the damage dealt. Okay, well, to do that damage dealt, you have to build crit rate, crit damage, PCTS. You got to build some percentages to make sense with that crit rate and then crit damage so you can actually do the damage dealt. Then you go speed. Now, no, some of these will have three priorities. Some of them will have four because I really do. If it has four or more, it must be very important to put these on these sets. All right, next one's going to be Fury set. Unfortunately, Fury is kind of like a clan boss, uh, unkillable clan boss, maybe an Emic type of build with a certain comps and stuff like that. But overall, I don't really keep a lot of Fury unless it has insane PP stats, right? A lot of high rolls and stuff like that, random offsets. Uh, that could be really good. But otherwise, I don't really keep it. But in terms of priority, once again, crit rate, crit damage, and PCTS. We don't really need speed. Unless you're trying to speed tune for unkillable, but most of the time people just want to, they just want to get as much damage as possible. So if you're using a fury set in an unkillable, you know you might put speed as like a fourth priority, right? Or even maybe third in PCTS. That's up to you. I don't build unkillables, but I would like to PCTS makes sense to me percentages because I'm trying to actually. But you don't want to put HP. I should, I, should, I should put PCTS excluding HP because you don't want to have too much HP. It's going to take too long to get that Fury number. So keep that in mind. So attack percentage and defense, really good. But be careful. Do not put, usually do not put HP percentage in this set, okay? All right, next one's going to be Days. Days is going to be a four-piece set, 25% chance to put a sleep debuff on the enemy for one turn. Let's be honest, man. Sleep is just, sleep is just meh. Right, it's one of the worst sets. Let's just be honest. It's, it's probably it's probably top two, top three worst sets in the game. It needs a buff. It needs to put it for two turns. It needs to be it needs to be a uh, place of sleep debuff. That's that's non. You can't cleanse it. Right, a protected debuff. It needs to be that if it's going to be speed. Right, and plus it's a low chance too. It's a one in four chance. Uh, but in terms of what we look for, we look for speed. We look for accuracy. Why speed? Because if you're going to land debuffs from a set, like a stun set, you need to go fast to land those debuffs. Accuracy, because most of those champions that wear these type of sets probably have some sort of debuffs. And then HP percentage, because like once again, like speed, when you use speed and act, you usually want HP or crit to keep the person alive or for someone to be like a Tomb Lord and, 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 you know, and be able to use their skills. Um, next one's going to be Curse Set. Curse set is a very powerful set. It used to be pretty trash, one of the worst in the game. It's better than sleep now. Considerably, some people are putting it on up all the way to the top, like top 10, top like 12. That's crazy, okay? Um, in, in a good way, because who would have thought that this set that was... <laughs> it, it was pretty bad in the beginning. They slightly buffed it. It was still pretty bad. Then they really changed it completely, and now it's actually good. So what do we want in the set? Well, if you want to keep landing that hex, because you might not always land the hex, right? You want speed, so you can keep having a chance on your AOE champions, right? A1s or A2s, whatever you want to do. Then you want to put accuracy, because most of those champions that are going to probably put this are going to probably have other debuffs on their A1s or A2s, so accuracy makes sense. Uh, crit rate, uh, crit rate, I added it there, um, because... Most people want to do more damage in a curse set, right? You're bringing the curse to do more. So you can build that champion in cursed to do damage, like get 100% crit, so you can be consistent. So that's why I put that there. If you want to put something else there, like HP or whatever, you can choose, but I'm just telling you, let you know from what I know is working. Uh, Frost. Frost is one of those sets that's kind of been overtaken by Frostbite. <laughs> Whoop. Um, but yeah, it's a four piece Frost. 20% chance to place a freeze debuff for one turn of the attacker. Man, this set I've always wanted to use so much. But honestly, it's like, why waste your time freezing someone unless we're talking about Arena? In PvE, it's better just to one-shot the waves or fully control them or per poison them, explode them, or sear them, or HP burn, explosion them. It's just, why, why sit there and just freeze? Unless we're talking about Live Arena, Classic Arena, and Tag Team Arena. So, unfortunately, it would be cool if we could freeze a boss or something like that. This set would be a lot more valuable, but it's not, so... For here, I chose to go with Resist because most people are going to use Frost are going to be champions that are going to probably provoke the enemy, right, with their skills so that you could they get attacked or champions that might be a little bit more tanky. So Resist, Defense, HP Percentage, and Accuracy is what I chose. You don't really have to go fast in a Frost. 
because you're not trying to go, you just need to go once usually. But however you want to do it, this is what I've seen works best, and this is usually what I keep. All right, next one's going to be Frenzy. Frenzy used to be crazy of a set. People did some crazy stuff like YST and some other people did some interesting things with this set. that don't. People used to use it as a solo farmer. If you couldn't get your speeds high enough, Frenzy could help you on a Battle Kazar or Urigrim or other champions like that. Cornelia, right? Um, but unfortunately, man, they just changed the set. It's supposed to be a counter to going, you're not going first, right? It's like, oh, I can go second and cut in, which sounds cool. But it's like, it's, you know what it needs to do? It needs to give you some form of lockout immunity. At least for one turn. At least for one turn, it needs to give you lockout immunity and give you that turn meter for each debuff. Then it could be super viable against Warlords, Yumekos, and stuff like that. Otherwise, you can't really use this. You get locked out. Cool. You, 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 you got debuffed. Cool. You can't even, you can't even do anything because now you're locked out. Even though you cut in, you're locked out. So it's like, oh man, it's like, what do we do? Like, so anyways, Frenzies, Sag, um, but here's the priority. It's going to be speed, accuracy, and HP percentage. Because if you want to get, um, if you want this to be used, right, you got to go f to cut in, you got to have the speed. And I, you could, honestly, you could probably say, well, usually people who are going to cut in probably either, it's going to be either Ack or HP, either one. But I put Ack first because Ack is so important on people. Uh, regeneration heals by 15% every turn. Let's be honest, this set is insane. People use it, abuse it a lot. Um, of course, what's the priorities? Speed, right? Uh, resist, because most of the people who use this are solo farming, duo farming, whatever you do, whatever. Um, and then HP percentage. All right, next one's going to be immunity set. Used to be a pretty powerful set. You could use immunity nukers, immunity supports, immunity tanks. Guess what immunity is now? No one even know. No one even had, uses immunity anymore. Stone skin, and there's better sets, right? Untouchable is better. So unfortunately, this set's kind of dead. Uh, you, I would, I would only keep mythical pieces if they're six star, maybe very high rolling five, maybe. But, but overall, the ones that I would say is speed, act, and resist. That's it, honestly. Uh, that's pretty much it. Why was why was this as the third one? Is because you don't want them to remove your immunity buff. All right. So the shield set here. Uh, what is the shield set? 30% HP AoE ally shield for three turns. Okay, so what are we prioritizing? We're prioritizing HP. <laughs> it's an HP set, right? Accuracy and crit rate. Now, if you're like, where is the speed? Now, if, if you put speed, it's fine. I'd rather put speed on bolster. But when I think of shield, I think of things like Mountain King, right? Remember the old, the good old days of Mountain King, Harvest Jack, these very high HP champions who have accuracy, who have debuffs. I know Mountain King doesn't have, so with Mountain King, you'd probably put HP, crit rate, and crit damage as a priority. But most champions in, in Shield, you want to have, they, like, like Harvest Jack and some other ones, they have debuffs. So that's why I put accuracy as a second one, and then crit rate as a third. But you can play around with this set, honestly, because it's kind of like, you know, it's shattered over by Bolster. Relentless. Oh, my God. One of the most craziest sets. Everyone likes to throw Relentless on everyone. I've seen so many Relentless people keeping Relentless. It gives me migraines to this day just thinking about all the Relentless gear I've seen that's just horrible, low rolling, no speed substats. Crazy. Look at my champion in Relentless. They don't even have 100% crit rate. They're going slower than 200 speed. They don't even have 300 ack. They don't even have 200 crit damage. It's just nuts. It's nuts what I've seen. But what I would say is the most important ones. Speed, of course. If you're not going, you're not going to get those extra turns. Accuracy, I love accuracy here. It's insane for Hydra. Insane for... Or, um, it used to be insane in Arena. You don't really see uh, Relentless in Arena anymore. But it could be really fun to play maybe around in, in Live Arena or in like uh, Faction Wars. You're trying to get yourself a super fast time or Doom Tower. That's why I say Act and then Crit because a lot of people like to build Crit. Uh, kind of like a Reflex set. If you want your, your Newt... Uh, you know, new to use new relentless or re reflex. So that's why that, that's why crits there are the third one. Uh, next one's gonna be savage. Everyone loves savage gear. Um, savage is ignoring 25% of the enemy's defense, right? One of the best ignoring other than lethal. Uh, the, what are the priorities? Well, let's be honest. If you're gonna ignore their damage, you're gonna have to crit them, right? 100% crit rate. Uh, so crit rate is the number one priority. Crit damage number two. PCTS because if you want your damage to scale, you have to bring percentages, attack, defense, or HP depending on the champion you're using. And then of course speed because if you don't go, you're probably not going to do your damage. Now there's uh, there's different situations where you can actually make that 
a, a, a reality where you can actually build slow champions and still combat um, stone skin. You can combat stuff like reactions, uh, accessories, and stuff like that. As you can see, I use a, a 100, 128 speed Baron, and I was able to actually uh, be able to finish and plat with this uh, Baron like this. It's possible. I'd use this in live arena. I use this in tag team arena. I got myself to gold too, like this. So if I can do it, other people can. Now you don't always have to do that. Some people, everyone's transitioning now to 200 speed nukers now, even though there's stone skin. Cause this is just better for live arena and other stuff like that. So, well, yeah, that's why I put speed there as the fourth one. All right, so the next one's gonna be destroy set. Destroys enemy max HP by 40% of the damage dealt. It was pretty good when people were progressing the Doom Tower. It was pretty interesting for Fire Knight. But let's be honest. This set's kind of dropping down. So what do you want to do here? Same thing as Savage. Same priority, so nothing special. Over here, Stun Set. Um, stun Set's 18% chance to place a Stun debuff for one turn, right? Amazing. We love the Stun Set. Stun Set, people use Stun Set all the time, right? And why is this? I just realized something. Why is this uh, uh, white? Is there any way I can go like a dark mode? I have dark mode for this, but it's not dark mode here. What is this? <laughs> I know it's a real... Random thing, Thong, but it's just so bright. It might, it might be. Is there a way I can find this and change the mode to like a dark? Hmm. I could go full screen. That'd be pretty good too. Yeah, I could do full screen. But anyways, sorry to go a little tangent there, but it's just I just realized it's so white in the background. I'm gonna try to see if I can change it to like a black or something like that, so it's not so bright for most people to just look at all the time. But okay, what are we looking for? A stun set. We're looking for. Hey, thank you so much. Uh, I cat the notorious. I kept the notorious. Thank you so much for the subscription on YouTube live here, right? Uh, priority is going to be speed, of course, because we want to keep landing the stun set. Accuracy, because most of the people who wear stun sets, most, not every single one, right, does have accuracy to so some degree, like a mighty Uko, right? But some people want to put skull crown stun when you could just build the skull crown better, but okay. For, for, the, for the stage, you know, 21, you could just build a nuking skull crown, it's just better. And then crit rate, boom. Crit rate is, of course, necessary because most of the people, if you build someone in stun who can go fast, build crit rate, and a little bit of act, I'm telling you, you're going to do some work. It doesn't matter if you're free to play or late, mid to late. It's going to help out a lot. Um, next one's going to be toxic set. Toxic set is pretty much the same priorities. The only difference is instead of controlling people, we're putting debuffs. Okay, so speed, accurate, and crit. I think it's a really strong set. Ever since they they changed it from 50 to 75, it's an amazing set, honestly. It's amazing early, mid-game. Once I start getting some toxic sets on my free-to-play, I'm going to stack nothing but toxic for clan boss. All right, we're going to go over here to provoke set. Provoke set used to be, um, it wasn't as crazy because there's a lot of people, there's a lot of champions that can actually provoke already. But with with the decay head being able to be provoked now right and we have a lot of aoe champions compared to what we used to have provoke has actually gone up really high up there so what do you want speed so you can keep landing those provokes right i put resistance but some people might actually put accuracy first because a lot of just like like other sets you know but for me personally if i'm going to provoke someone and I get attacked, I don't want to get their debuff. I don't want to get their heal reduction. I don't want to get whatever they're attacking me with on the A1s. I don't want to get block active skills or, or block buffs on your A1. I don't want to get decreased attack or decreased defense on the A1. I don't want that. So that's why I put resistance. It just makes more sense. And then accuracy, in, you know. And then you can put PCCS as the, as the fourth one if you want, which means percentages. But honestly, you don't even need them to be that tanky. They just need to be able to provoke, so... Um, but that's up to you how you want to do that. So retaliation, retaliation is huge. It used to not really be that great, like kind of like avenging, but man, whoop, two piece. It is jumped up. People are putting it up really high up there. You know, A's and almost S honestly. So 15% chance two piece set, uh, 15% chance to counterattack when hit. This is amazing. You know, this is going to be synergized with all these like sets, like provoke, uh, toxic stun, you know, sleep, you know, who's going to use sleep, right? But you can combine it, so it's really good. So what do we get value from this? Well, I was thinking like speed, right? But it's like most of the time when I think of counterattacking, how am I going to get the most value when I actually counterattack? Someone who actually can do damage. Because you know that mastery, right? In the, in the, um, when you're over here in the, in the defensive side, that, which is kind of funny how it's in the defensive side. You would think it'd be on the offensive side. But this retribution can actually win me games. Like on my on my on my Baron or on like on certain champions, I can just go and splash 
my A1. It's like, oh, you got my retribution proc? All right, cool. Boom. I get A1 and just kill everybody. And I'm like, oh, thanks, Rodos. You got an extra turn. You attack me. Now I literally go and, you know, so it's pretty, cr pretty crazy. So um, I would kind of say yes. So that's why I chose for the priorities would be crit rate, crit damage, and PTTS. Now, some people might say totally opposite. They might say speed, act, and crit would be those three priorities. So if that is that what you, if that's what you want to do, fine. But I chose to go with this because it seems more s sense for like, it's just kind of insane. If you have this and then like in live arena or like classic arena or like in some sort of where it really matters for you to get that, that counterattack changes everything, that's what would change it if you had those stats. So that's why I went with it. But you could do whatever you want. Next one's going to be avenging set. 45% chance to counterattack when a debuff is placed on the wearer. Now, this is kind of like supposed to be like frenzy where you get debuffed and instead of getting turn meter, you counterattack, which sounds pretty cool. Um, and we got to see some people, uh, some content creators like Nub, Nub Raids, and some other people have tried out using Avenging. Um, I think people were using Avenging with Baron back in the days to like fly through Doom Tower without even really taking turns. That was cool. You can't really do that now because of the artifact set's different. Uh, but I still went with the same stuff. The only difference is I went with Accuracy because... If you're trying to um, counterattack when a debuff is placed, instead of you just counterattacking normal, that's why I didn't go with PCCS. I went ACK instead. So, uh, but you might be like, why ACK? It's because of um, Bambus Four Leaf and what other people are doing with this set. So that's why I chose that. Uh, Stalwart here, 30% um, um, damage taken reduction, 30% minus 30% damage taken from enemy AOE attacks. An insane set for Clan Boss, Hydra, anything that has a lot of AoEs. I've even shown people putting a rare and Leoruses and a lot of champions like AoE champions like Trunda could not kill my champions in Stalwart, which is nuts. Uh, rares, okay, by the way. Um, but yeah, so what do we go for here? Normally this tank is, you want to be tanky, right? So I put HP percent, defense, uh, defense percent, resist, and then axe last speed in that order, which is kind of weird because it's like a 4.5. There's no like four and a five priority. It's like they're both important in that fourth slot. So that's why I put X slash speed there. Actually, you need a lot of stats in the set, but the juicier you get, more stats you get, the more powerful Star Wars is. And that's why they're like that. Next one's gonna be reflex set. Like we talked about earlier, like Relentless. What we're we looking for, most people who are gonna put a 40% chance to reduce random skill cooldown. It used to be 30, now it's 40, right? With the buff, which is insane. So you're gonna be looking for speed, you're gonna be looking for ACK, crit rate, and resist. You might be like, why the resist? Why not PCTS? The reason to resist is because reflex, right? If I'm gonna go fast, put some accuracy, I don't wanna get, um, like, if I get debuffed, I'm dead, right? And crit rate, because a lot of champions, once again, Newt and some other champions, maybe like Reflex, a Crazier, or whatever, like a Relentless. A lot of so that's why I put the crit rate there, right? We don't normally like to put crit rate or crit damage with resist as a as a as a, you know as a priority because they don't really synergize together. But if you don't go the crit route and you want to cut out crit rate and put resist as a third and then put PC, PCTS percentages at the fourth, that's up to you how you build. But I'm just letting you know, these are my priorities. Normally when I look for gear, that's what I'm looking for. Next one's going to be Curing Set, okay? Uh, it's a four-piece. It used to be not that great back then. It was like, I think it was like 10% 10, 10 bonus heal or 15%. Now it's 20% bonus heal, which is a little bit better. But the fact that you can also restore destroyed maxed HP is insane. There's not that many champions that can actually do that with their skills, right? You might have Mariska and Miracle Blessing. Oh, wait, and what else? One epic, Woosgar. That's it. Now you have a gear set to help you out. So it's, in my opinion, for early game, mid game, is really strong. Um, what stats we're we looking for? Speed, resist, because most of the people who are going to wear curing are probably going to, you know. Um, now you might be like, but Jay, what if I want to use a Vogoth in curing? Well, then instead of reading left to right, read it right to left. Right? Now it makes more sense. If I'm a slow boy, like a Vogoth, HP percentage is not my most important. Then act, well, he does have provokes, right? Then since you're accurate, since he's provoking people, he needs what? Resistance because I'm provoking people to attack this Vogoth and then speed afterwards. So you see how it works? So sometimes certain sets you want to go vice, you know, 
inverted in a way from left to right, right to left. But it all depends on, like I said, it all depends on you and what champion you're using. But overall, I usually use this on support champions like Rector Drath, uh, Doom Priest. These type of champions need to go fast, have high resistance, high HP and stuff like that. So if you don't need accuracy, if you don't want to build no Doom Priest accuracy, guess what? Cut it out. If the champion doesn't need accuracy, just cut it out of priority and just choose something else. So it would just be speed resist HP, right? All right, over here we got um, Cruel Set, two-piece. Love Cruel, man. Cruel's amazing, right? Two-piece. Um, attack 15% and 5% ignoring enemy defense. So you can take Savage and this and scale it, right, which is pretty fun. So what are we looking for? Pretty much the same stuff, right? Crit rate, crit damage, attack, because the set is attack, and then speed act. Now, you might be like, act? Really, Jay? There are some champions that can actually get some value a little bit out of that act. Unless you want to put two piece perception instead, right? If you, but you don't want. To, sometimes you don't want to get too much act because you might get sheeped or something like that. You just want enough. So it's up to you how you want to do it. I that's why I put it all the way at the end. You can cut it out there if you don't want to do that and prioritize it like that. All right, immortal. So immortal is a two piece, kind of overrated. Let's be honest. Everyone loves it, but hey, it's been there since like you know for a while. Um, HP percent, 15%. It's nice to combine it with regeneration sets. It's nice to combine this with Bolster. It's nice to combine it with Immortal Defiant. It's just a, it's a nice. Um, so HP 15% and then heals by 3% every turn. How do we get value from that? Well, we got to go fast. Let's be honest, right? The faster you go, the more you get your Immortal procs, right? HP percentage is the second one. Resist an act. Resist slash act. Not resist comma act. Resist slash act. So whichever one you want, okay? Next one's gonna be divine offense. Okay, two piece equal uh, attack percentage fifteen percent HP shield. Honestly, trash. I don't use this. Um, but since it's a damage, since it's a damage set, what we're we gonna go do? Damage sets. We always do what? Do what? Crit damage. I mean, sorry, crit rate, crit damage, attack, and speed. So there you go. Just like other sets, it's the same way. Over here, divine critical rate is the crit rate. Now this one's a little bit better. It's a two piece. Can give you that twelve percent. It's basically a crit rate set with that little shield, but the little shield can screw you over sometimes or, or unnecessary with other things. But overall, uh, it's just a, basically a cr uh, crit rate set, just different, right? Uh, but we can get mythical ones. Of, so if you're not going to do Ice Golem, but you're doing your classic arena and you're in goal five, you can get mythical ones of divine critical. I've been starting to get some of them. And I'm like, dang, okay. So what am I looking for? Once again, crit rate, crit damage. I'm not looking for attack because there's no stat that says it in the gear. So PCTS and then speed. So PTC, remember, PCTS stands for percentages. This stands for HP, defense, or attack, depending on how you want to use that. Uh, Divine Life set. Divine Life is just life. Honestly, you know, it's kind of weird. I don't really like this set. HP percentage, crit rate, and speed. That's why I prioritize. Divine Speed set. Mm, amazing. Amazing. Uh, this, this set's just like Speed set. We're looking for certain, but it's hard to get, let's be honest. Uh, it, it just you, you, you get it, but you don't get the good stats in it. Which is sad, right? So what are we looking for? Speed, act, and crit rate. That's all I look for. I don't look for no PCTS, no resistance. I don't care. Those are the three sets I look for. If it doesn't have it, I'm out. I'm out. Instant sell. If it's low rolling, instant sell. I don't care. Swift parry. Um, I used to like this set a lot when it first came out. I thought it was going to be super OP. But I, we just found out it gets countered a lot you know rotos there's other champions that can just decrease your duration genbo can counter this so it's like it's like dang you know it's like sad but overall it's still not bad if you have some good pieces a C, it's a four piece speed 18 percent crit damage an extra 30 percent and then you have a 50 percent chance to proc an unkillable buff for one turn um what do we look for normally i'm gonna be honest i've seen people build some fast siffies with some uh swift pair and i've seen some other stuff as well so overall i went with speed crit rate crit damage and resist because you can actually get some good resistance here with some speed and you can get your siffies high resist i've seen other people do some weird weird stuff okay um so yeah that's what i would do no accuracy it's a damage set why are we putting ag so I, I i'm not i wouldn't do that personally but that's that's what i do if you don't want to do this then take out the resist and put pcts right percentages if you want to go that route as, as a damage swift parry <clears throat> all right deflection we have uh four piece HP 20%, defense 20%, and a 25% chance to deflect one debuff on the attacker. Honestly, that happens a lot more than you think. Um, it, I know it's a 1 in 5 chance, but I, I see it happen a decent amount of times. And it's an okay set, but I, I wish it wasn't um, a 4 set. I understand it's really, it gives you that juiciness, 
Um, but yeah, it's kind of sad. But uh, I, I hope I hope they would buff it up to at least like a forty percent chance to, to to like deflect it would be pretty cool. But whatever, HP percent, defense percent, act and speed. That's what I've chosen as the priorities. Resilience set. I like to use this resilience on a lot of rares and a lot of epics who don't have really good stats. It helps them get to that like middle ground where they're like Lego status stats, right? So what do I like to go for? <laughs> what the, did I really put the number? I actually put the number. Whoops! <laughs> I just realized. That. There you go. We're gonna be prioritizing HP first, then defense percentage, then resist slash speed, not comma speed. Okay, so they're just as important, whichever way you want to go. All right, perception. One of the, the literally one of the top six sets, top ten. Honestly, I would say top three. I use perception on everybody. I'll use resist chess piece and, and perception. I'll use accuracy chess piece and perception. I'll use defense percentage and perception. HP percentage and perception. I just it just it doesn't perception is just insane. If you're not using perception, you are sleeping. So what is the most important thing that I come to this set? Just like accuracy set, I come for the accuracy first. Then I go for the speed. Then you can go for the crit rate. That's what I've seen work a lot on most people's accounts. Um, can you go resist? Yeah, you probably go resist at the fourth one, but it's not a priority. It's just an extra. Affinity Breaker. A four set crit damage, 30% and 50% chance to weak hit to turn a weak hit into a critical hit. Um... Why did I go accuracy first and not crit rate? Why not crit? Why not speed? Well, I've noticed a lot of people have been using Affinity Breaker as a way to land. Since you're not weakening, you're landing your debuffs, and since you're getting crit damage, we still have to build crit rate, but it's not as the fastest priority. So I've noticed accuracy, speed, and crit rate is what I went with. Now, if you want to take out that speed and put crit rate in the second position and then speed towards third or fourth, that's up to you. But that's how I've seen so far it would work pretty good. All right, untouchable, four piece set immunity for two turns. Resist plus 40, what are we looking for? Well, it's basically the immunity set, right? But better, because you get extra resistance. And what are we gonna focus on? Well, clearly resist, speed, and HP, just like the other set. I like this set, but unfortunately it's like, <laughs> there's just so many other good sets, you know? Fatal set, actually, one of my favorite sets don't tell don't let anybody know don't let anybody know a two-piece attack percentage 15 percent and crit rate five percent you might be like jay why do you like this so much wouldn't you rather rather have crit damage or like some other i like this a lot because you understand getting crit extra crit rate you can't crit rate like people would be like oh i get crit rate from a uh, speed from a set like a kill stroke I get crit damage and kill stroke. It's like a crit damage set, but better because it's kill stroke. Yeah, but like crit rate is insane. You can always you can always glyph speed. You can't glyph crit rate. And it's so important to get to that 100 percent So if I can get extra crit from my mastery, I get the 15% from the champion, and I can get it. I can't get it from my great hall. I can't get it from the area bonus. I can't get it from glyphing yet. You can technically, it's it's technically in the game, but they don't, you know, uh, it's in the coding of the game, but they don't like actually let us use the glyph, right? That's been that's been data mined years ago. So when will Plarum actually let us have crit rate glyphs? We're waiting, but I guess this, we're not ready yet. <clears throat> but it's there, it's there. Um, anyways, so the priorities, I like it a lot. I use this set a lot more than you think. Uh, crit rate is the priority. Crit damage, of course, attack because it's an attack set, and then speed. You guys, are you guys starting to see a trend? Are you seeing a trend? And if you really work with this trend, I'm telling you, it's just, it's like butter. The gear, you can get you can get a four-piece and two-piece. You can get three two-pieces. It's just nuts, okay? Uh, Frostbite is a two-piece set, 15% chance to block freeze debuffs, and a 10% chance to place a freeze uh, debuff for one turn on the attacker. So it's basically a, a Frost set, but better, right? Because you can put two-piece instead of four. And uh, what are we going to look for? Once again, we're going to look for resist, H defense, HP, and act. <clears throat> Bloodthirst. Uh, Bloodthirst is one of these, it's like lifesteal. And honestly, I feel like people are sleeping on this set. I really feel like people are sleeping on the set. 
I know people want to use Savage, people want to use other stuff like Lethal, people want to use Instinct and stuff like that, which I, I totally, I'm, I'm okay with when it comes to nukers. But how annoying would it be to have someone in Bloodthirst getting that extra crit, which means you can get even more speed on a champion, more attack, more crit damage, and you can actually just be, like, you never die. You would just never die. Now, you'd have to build this on someone who benefits from taking lots and lots and lots of turns, right? Like, I'd be a douche and build a Rotos in life, in like Bloodthirst and never watch him die. And his passive would just infinitely proc. Just saying, if someone does this video, it was me first. Anyways, but what are we going to focus on? Uh, we're going to focus crit rate, of course, right? Crit damage, PCTS, and then speed. Percentages, right? Guardian set. A lot of people like Guardian set. I like it to a degree. I don't think it's that high. But it's really, really good. It's really good for early, mid, and late game players. But once you get to end game, you don't really need the Guardian. I'm going to be honest. You, we have all these insane champions like Strength and Increased Defense, Ally Protection. All these insane buffs. Decreased attack, decreased defense on the enemies. You, they don't, they're not going to do enough to where, where me personally. But I do like Guardian a lot in terms of secret rooms, faction wars. If you need one, one champion and, and, and Guardian for, for Hydra, it's a really good set. It really is. I just don't think it's like S tier. You know, I don't think it's insane. <clears throat> But anyways, Grant's Aware absorbs 10% of the ally, uh, all damage dealt to ally champions. Heals by 10% every turn. I do like that. I like it. It's like a bolster. It's like a little mini regeneration. Um, so what did I go with it? I went speed. A lot of people might not go speed at all. But if you go speed in Guardian, man, those people are going to keep getting free heals over and over. And a lot of people build more champions slower in Guardian. You know, like very high HP, very high HP defense and resist. That's up to you of how you want to do that. But my Guardian gear, I build champs fast in Guardian. You know what I'm saying? Speed is way, speed is how it goes. Uh, but anyways, I went speed, HP percentage, defense percentage, and then act as my uh, priorities. You could also put act slash resist at that end part right there, but I just put act. Next one's going to be Fortitude. Fortitude is the Bommel gear. Resistance buff uh, plus uh, 40. And defense percentage, uh, defense 10% added right that's not bad that's not bad for a two-piece that's not bad uh but nowadays let's be honest a lot of your champions will get ignored their defense by champions in savage or rotos or somebody who may even my baron you know whatever jorgid so you just gotta be careful um but overall you know if you need it you need it right but who's really farming bommel when you can farm the dark fey right uh but the, what i prioritize is resist defense hp and act in that order not even speed because if I'm going to build someone with that too, I'm not really going for speed, honestly. If I'm going to build someone with resist. Usually, when we talk about resist high up in the resist sets, I put speed up there, right? Because they're for support champions. But when I think of fortitude, I think of like a more slow boy. Someone who's trying to go a little bit slower but get higher resist. You know, like a UDK. Like if you want to, instead of going 6P stone skin, you don't have enough. You go 4P stone skin, you go fortitude to help yourself out. All right, here we go. Lethal, one of the strongest, probably the top <laughs> three sets in the game. going to be honest, I love lethal all right you get that crit rate 10 percent huge like i told you bloodthirst it's like two percent less than bloodthirst right and then on top of that you get a savage part added to it it's nuts so what are we doing same thing like savage crit rate crit damage pcts and speed now if you want to put that speed in front and put percentages afterwards that's up to you as a player all right protection an amazing set. It was okay. People love Stone Skin better, but it's gone up now because it has, yeah, it has a lot more now, right? It could be one to nine piece, 40 resist, 15% extra HP, 32% speed, and then a 75% chance of protecting buffs if you get all of them, right? Including the accessories. Uh, and an allies deal 5% more damage for each buff, which is pretty crazy. Um, what do I prioritize? Speed. Because honestly, I've seen people get quad rolls, triple rolls in, in protection sets, and people are building their champions 400 speed. 400, all, the highest I've seen so far is like a 445 Siffy. That's nuts. I'm not even in 400 yet. I've been playing the game for four years. I'm almost 370. And I could get myself to 375 if I glyphed everything, my best, best gear, and glyphed it out. But it's like not enough. I don't even care about that extra 6, 7 speed, honestly. Uh, but yes, over here I would choose speed, HP percentage, resist, and then defense percentage in that order. Next one's going to be Stone Skin, one of the most popular sets for Arena. And even for Hydra, you can use your Stone Skin UDK, or you can use a Stone Skin Champion uh, for other content as well. Like I heard uh, people are using Stone Skin for the uh, Shogun at one point. Uh, one to nine, right? 
Oh, uh, you get 80 resist. That's a lot, actually. 16% HP, 30% defense, and then the stone skin buff for two turns, which is insane. It's an immunity and a damage reduction all in one. It's crazy. So what do we what do we do? This is one of the only sets that I tell you guys to build two different priorities. I know, right? Because it's that versatile. If you're gonna go more of a slow boy or a champion that needs to be high resist, we go resist first, HP, defense, act and then speed in that order, right, in terms of priorities. If you're going to build a nuker in Savage, what are we doing? Second type, right? Crit rate, crit damage, PCTS, then speed. You do not want to put speed third in this set as a priority. As a player, you might be like, I want to go, because then your stone skin buffs, you'll take too many turns, you'll lose your stone skin buff. So put PCTS as a third one. If you want to do whatever, how you want to do it, you can do it. I'm just letting you know. All right, kill stroke. Is going to, we talked about this, right? Grant, grants uh, crit damage 20% and 5% speed. It's not bad. It's a better version of crit damage. And it gives you a little bit of extra speed. Um, but what are we going for here? We're not, go, we're not going... Uh, normally, we go crit rate, crit damage, and then PCTS, and then speed. But because the set gives you speed, we're actually pri prioritizing a little bit more speed here. So we put speed as a third priority, and then PCTS. All right, over here, Instinct. One of my favorite sets. You go Ultra Instinct, you know, like, well, people might know, OGs of my channel might know. But, uh, yeah, so what does it do? It's a four-piece set that grants 12% speed, and it also gives you a baby version of Savage. A good, you know, by 5%, you lose that 5% ignoring, but you get 12% speed. That is a lot. People don't really realize how that can, they can change a lot. Um, anyways, what are the priorities? Of course, we're going crit rate, we're going crit damage, we're going speed, then PCTS, and then Accuracy. You might be like, wait, why Ack? Well, I have a lot of champions. Let me show you an example, right? People people were, were like, why do you have your bi Bivol? An Instinct. And I was like, what do you mean? His skills, damage increases by 5% for each debuff on each enemy. And then also heals all allies by 20% of the damage inflicted. And places a shield on them for two turns equal to 20% of the damage inflicted. He also has provokes on the A1 and provokes on the A2 with a leech. So I've noticed, I have a lot of champions like Helicath, right? When I did the Helicath, I've noticed you can build champions crit rate, crit damage, speed, PCTS, and act in this set. It's pretty crazy. You can. All right, the next one's going to be Bolster. All right, Bolster set is a four-piece Grants protected 30% AoE ally shield for three turns. One of the best sets in the game, but it's kind of pay to win, right? Uh, for three turns. Heals by 10% every turn. What are the priorities? I like to go speed, HP, act, then resist. We talked about the stream. Some people were saying resist, but then after lots of talking, eventually chat was like, you know what? Act and then resist. So, well, act slash resist, you know, if you want to do both, but basically act first. All right, we're almost done. Defiant set, uh, two-piece, grants defense 10%. And then on top of that, it's like a stalwart, right? A, you know, a half a stalwart, but hey, it's a two-piece, right? So you can actually put three of these and make it a six-piece of Defiant and get way more than, the, than, than stalwart would give you. Uh, but you can, it's, it's a cool filler piece, right? If you want to get extra tanky, extra defense, um, but you, minus 15% uh, percent damage taken uh, from enemy attacks. Uh, what are the priorities? I go for HP because if you go defense, and I know it's about a defense set, but if you go defense and the boss or enemy ignores your defense, you just die. So if you go HP first, then you go defense, your champion's going to survive a lot better. So that's why I chose it as a priority. Then we go speed, then we go accuracy. Um, no, most people are not going to go, you know, build crit rate, crit damage in the set. You don't usually come that for this because why would you? Yeah, just weird. Uh, impulse set um, grants 12% speed, so kind of like a like an instinct. But now instead, you get a reflex, right, which is 30% chance to reduce random skill cooldown. Now, it's not 40%. Why didn't they just make impulse the better version of reflex? I think because so many people have been farming ice golem for reflex, and they just didn't want to just instantly just shun it out. Plus, let's be honest, it's how many people have insane in, uh, impulse year right now maybe only the top gold players or even people who play a lot of silver three silver four silver two live arena let's be honest right uh so what are the, the priorities speed accuracy crit rate and crit damage in that order and for the last two we have is zeal okay 
Zeal's a four-piece set. Once again, you can get this from Live Arena, just like Impulse. Grants 25% crit damage, all right? So it's a little bit better than a crit damage set. And then we get a 7.5 damage, extra damage, um, per, I guess, percent, yeah. Uh, for every 25%, no, for every 25% the target has, has. So, f wow, that's pretty crazy. So the more, so the more health they have, the more they take. Ooh, so 7.5 times 4, if you think about that, right? It's pretty good. Uh, but the thing is, you don't get the, you don't get the enemy ignoring defense. You don't get anything, sp like, crazy special. So you get all this burst, but at the same time, if your champion doesn't have it in their kit, like a Rotos who ignores defense or, or someone who can just ignore 100%, like, like a Mortimer Cav or something, it's just kind of, uh, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I think maybe there'll be more, ch maybe more champions come out. If Blood Gorge ever becomes a thing, maybe this could be pretty insane because he ignores 100% of someone's cha uh, champion's defense. Or like a, is it, who's that? Uh, is it Belisilius Ronus? Or is it Royal, Hun uh, Royal, Royal Huntsman, right? Huntsmaster? Or let me see, the, 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 the high elf one that can ignore 100% of their defense? I think, he, yeah, this one ignores 100%. Uh, no, this one right here. Yeah, so something like this, maybe because you don't need to put Savin on a champion like this, so maybe like Zeal could be actually pretty nutty. You know what I'm saying? You can get some nutty numbers, crazy numbers in Zeal, possibly. Um, but other than, other than that, I don't know, man. I it's just, This is a set that we still need to build, and, and people need to get more of it. But overall, what I've talked to people, they said crit rate, crit damage, speed, and then PCTS. And for the last set, one of my favorite sets, uh, Playroom didn't have icons, so I had to actually grab my own icons. Can you believe that? From my own in-game inventory. <laughs> Playroom, get hey, do better. Do better. All right. Righteous set, two-piece Righteous, grants 10% speed, and then 40 resist. Man, I use this just like, like, just like Perception. I do everything. Resist chest piece, accuracy chest piece, and I'll put resistance on the substat. I put speed, everything speed Everything speed resist HP. So that's what I focus on. As you can see, priorities here: speed, resist, act, HP percentage, and defense percentage. Honestly, this is like Star Wars. You want to have so many stats here, but you want to prioritize left to right here, right? But honestly, if you can get this, is another set like Perception and Star Wars that's just juicy. You can get a lot of different stats here. I wouldn't come here for crit rate, right, or crit damage. That doesn't make sense. Could you build a piece like that if you want to? Yeah, but I'm not doing that. It's just dumb, in my opinion. But I'd rather go for these. But you know, that's that's my um, gear set priorities. If you'd like to see that, it's in my Discord. Um, I also have a Google Doc for it if you want to download it and edit it yourself and change some stuff, whatever you want to do, I have it. Um, but thank you so much, Raiders, for watching this Raid Shell Legends video. This took me a long time to create because I had to go through every single gear and find out what's the best one for which one and stuff like that. This is the best information from early to late game. If you're an end game player, you can do whatever you want, keep whatever you want. Most of them are very biased in how they want to do things on their account, whatever. But I'm just telling you from being on over 300 accounts, Racial Legends accounts other than my own, I've learned a lot from how people think. I've learned out, I've learned to see what gear works on each set and how it works overall. Thank you, Raiders. For watching this i'll see you guys in the next one which will i talk about roles and how roles matter on each specific piece of gear like if we look at this right and we look at this weapon here i can tell you just by looking at it if it roll low rolled medium roll high roll what we could have rolled in general what's stuff like that so i will let you guys know that in the next video um, thank you so much. Please like, share, and subscribe, and sh share this video so a lot of people can know this information because I put a lot of time into this one. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, Raiders.